Hello everybody and welcome back to the Two Knowledge Podcast. As always, I am joined by my good friend Timmy Long. Hey everyone. Rowan, my cousin, is on the decks. Um, I am James Leonard and this week we have a very, very, very special guest. Uh, somebody who I had at the top of the list from a long time. Um, and I'm delighted he's on. Uh, Patsy Friend, Cox City FC, legend and proud Norrie. And um, a lot of people will know you. For the people who don't know you, who are you and where are you from? I uh, my name is Patrick Free and Patsy in Baker's Run and Grind. Uh, it's, it's a place I was always very proud of. So. Yeah. What yeah. part of Baker's Road? Do you know when you're coming up Baker's Road? And I'm at the top, when you come up to the top of uh, Column Kill. Yeah. The, the, when you turn left towards the, it, uh, we were the second house in. Oh, uh, yeah. Brian's the first house. Yeah. We were the second, yeah. the Russells with the tall house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know when I was growing up in the north side? Do you know what I always, do you know the, the gaffs across the road? Yeah. I always thought they were millionaires' gaffs because they were well, always nicer houses. Right? They were all because they were, they were built later than, the, than our houses because that was all, it was a kind of all. When I grew up, we were very young. Well, them houses really, I know, but like up around the corner, it was just all countryside, you know what I mean? Yeah. There was no knock the heaney or anything, you know, so yeah. we kind of missed the boat world, you know what yeah. I mean? And what school did you go to? Eh, it's not the other anymore. It's Cathedral School, it was in Cathedral Road, primary oh. school. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, it, it's apartments now. Oh, uh, that's that grey building, and Yeah, it was called the new school. Oh, it was right. built in 1933. New school. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was called. Was Sean O'Shea the principal down there? He was there? the principal, yeah. Yeah, he was uh, the principal in that the after yeah. the, the, yeah. the singer. Yeah, so I have a villa. Is Sean still singing these days? Eh? He's, he's still got it, yeah. Is he still? He's, he, he must be an elderly man, but he's still at it, yeah. He must be very old, I'd say, because he was oh, he, he, as well in primary. Well, I'm 29 now, so he must be... <laughs> 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 he must be... Um, oh, he must be 80 now, at least. Yeah, yeah, so there, was a, there was a tribute to Shane McGowan on the Late show last year, mm. and Sean O'Shea was present yeah, singing. Yeah. And, and was he? He looked the same. Really? Yeah, he, yeah, he actually does. You know, <laughs> he's a bit grey, but, but he... he uh, yeah, he's around a long time. He yeah. broke a lot of hats in that school, you know what I mean? I know, I'm broke, he broke a lot of ears. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he broke a lot of bones in that thing. Yeah. 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 He's, he's controversial. Yeah. He's best for us, I suppose. Yeah. You know, so. He was controversial, I suppose. He was controversial, but, and, and, and probably not in year time, yeah. because oh. yeah, I, 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 I spoke to him above in the, in the school in the in St. Mary's. And he was very placid compared yeah. to what he was earlier. Yeah. And you don't want to be talking about the men and I know. No. Because I know. Do you know what? He's Listen, a legend as well. Like Their intentions as well. Oh, that's what I'm saying. He was only trying his best for us. You know, he, you know, he was yeah. of his era, let's yeah. just say. Yeah, 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 but already don't, yeah. But yeah. yeah. you would be at her own the clash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was there many... In, was, did you come from a big family? I, we just... We had ten kids, yeah. Five boys and five girls. Big enough family. Yeah, big yeah, yeah. But all families were... You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, well, most families. Like a small family would have been five or six that time, like, you yeah. know? Yeah, my... My and Rowan's family are from Temple Lake Avenue. That's right. Yeah. Them, there was eleven of them there. Yeah, yeah. yeah nine yeah. girls and yeah, two boys. Yeah. I know. I, yeah, I know. I had the family. I did. You know. Yeah. As they say, I, the old brains don't say there was. I'm sure they did eleven or something. There was. Uh, there was so many. The cameras were on the car. There were about fourteen of them there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There was about twenty. The <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, uh, I know all your families. You know. Yeah. You know uh, why? And who who did you play soccer with in school boys and that? Um, it, 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 school boys league didn't start that time on uh, under twelve was the first year, you know. But there was there was a five a side, a five a side tournament in Parkin Hall every Friday night, you know. Indoor five a side, it was brilliant, and uh, you know that's where we got, kind of got it first competitive. But Casabio at the time had an under twelve team, and I, and I started with them, mm. but I was only nine years of age, and uh, what happened? It actually fell out of football the following year, so there was a club. Came out of the pro hall called Shannon and Bio. Yeah. And uh, I played all my school boys league with them after, you know, I never yeah. they were me they were my team, like, you mm. know, Shannon and Bio. Was Temple around back then as well? Uh, no, no. They they had the junior you know, the junior team, but they had no school school boys. Is, uh, is Castleview you know. the oldest team in the North West? Oh but uh, yeah, well uh, Mary's Yeah, like, yeah. Mary's and family, but like Castleview the oldest in the, the Grand, you know yeah, what I mean? But yeah. uh, yeah, so so like I'd be associated with Castleview, but uh, like uh, the club of Shannon Bio, yeah, because like they, were, they 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 had very good teams, very good football teams, you know. Yeah. The great Bobby Donovan was on, on the team. Another lad called Paul Murphy. He was became an Irish basketballer after a very good footballer. 
Yeah, we had a very good side, you know, under yeah. the years. Like, we were probably the best in Cork at the, at the time, you know. We played in GA as a child. I, Vincent's then as well, same thing, you know. Yeah. Actually, Bobby brought me up to Vincent's the first day, and uh, so I played on my life with Vincent's as well, you know. Yeah. So well, Soccer was your first well, love. Soccer was my like. first love, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And was it always uh, midfield? Um, yeah, always. And <laughs> do you know when you were playing as a child, did you stand out? I know, no, like you have to, you have to look back. But did, did you know you were good, or did, did you get more uh, praise, or sh- things like that? We can't, I, I don't know. Are like, we getting more attention than the rest? Funny enough, I suppose I why, but uh, you know, you know, we're talking. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what it is really. Like you know, you just want to do your best for your team. So like, well, yeah. you know, anything that came after was, yeah, you know. But, it, but like it was, it was obviously team efforts, you know what I mean. And you know then when was your as you're getting older, did you did you play with did you go from school boys or from Shandon into Cork City or did you go oh, no, to uh, I did a I did long road. I tell yeah. you, I just want to go back to Do? something to, you know something that was always on, on my life because it's it was the first time I really got a taste of. Um, it would be wrong to say an our side, south side, but it just felt like that, you know. Mm. We had been the best team, as I said, in school guys league, you know, for the first, I think we won the double in 12 and we won the league in 13, I might be wrong there, but we, we won the cup out of the league anyway. Yeah. And uh, we done the cup team, I couldn't get a game, you know. We played Kerry up in Everton Park, I never forget it. Well, I never forget it because, of, you know what yeah. I mean? And uh, I, I went in the first 11 and, you know, it was safe to me too. It was safe to myself. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought it, you know, mm-hmm. I thought it. So that was all right, the game was drawn, so after, uh, after that then I, I got in, I actually came on the sub, we won the game, sorry. I came on the sub, we won, so they couldn't keep me out then, you know yeah. what I mean? But it was the first taste of um, boys. Do you think they kept Joe to the team because of where you were from? I, do you know what? I might be totally wrong, but that's the way I felt. Weird goalie? Person from up around their own. Um, I, I can't remember who else, but you know, yeah. in me in me time on the age, I've kind of noticed. I actually said it once to a committee. They brought me in because they, they refused to come up because they was the only north side on the youth side uh, in the youth team. Do you know I was strong? And, uh, and I know, I know, I know that uh, the lads like Bobby, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Good, good players yeah. from the north side, you know, the Mary's boys and. And I thought I just thought it was wrong, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And and I just I said, No, I'm not playing with you anymore. You'd so hear I stories like that too of cock fellas going to the Irish setup and getting left Same out thing, for yeah. dubs. But like you know, but I had that I, I I was I was never good enough to be capped on the edge. Yeah. Um a lot of that was I suppose self esteem as well, you know, you're going to Dublin mm-hmm. to big smoke. I was, you know, by from ground, you know. Yeah. You know, things like that. And, and I but looking back I was tiny, mm. so they're probably looking at me and saying, Jesus Christ, he's on you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, when you're looking back, it's just fair enough, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We, do, we, know, we, do, we do see lads that have got capped after, you know what I mean? And, mm. you know, things like that. It would be nice to be a cap. Yeah. But, uh, and but I they, never got it for sure if I have. I know, but you, you still had a great career. You know, you still had a lot of achievements. But where did you go after you Shandon? You had my height, Patsy. You were <laughs> fine. If you Timmy's build. <laughs> We're like a tank in the midfield. <laughs> just before we started this podcast, I was just telling you, you know, Patsy started calling me a bad player. Uh, he just, hawked my fingers. He's trying to humble you to me. But uh, I'd say after myself and Patsy came from the same era, you know, when I was marking him in the midfield, it would have been a good old battle. You would have destroyed me football. Like, you, would, you know, you would have destroyed me. You would have me, to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, the back of your heels, I would have gone. No. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. you know, it takes all sorts, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way it goes, you know. Yeah. But uh, like, it's just something that always stuck with me. Mm. And uh, I think that's why the North side of things stuck with me all the time, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's why I want to do this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know exactly. I mean? the, this is an Ari podcast. An podcast you know? yeah. And we've had yeah. so much talent from the North side, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it, 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 it always... Um, you know, you know, it's just something that rattles me out. The tank that's there, and uh, yeah. I don't think we use it enough. Mm. But saying that, then I don't think the facilities are on the north side. Mm. Obviously, it's a working class area. We've always come second best to the facilities that are up the south side. Mm. Even growing up, like Dublin, all they had all the facilities. We were never coached properly. Mm. 
you know, people just weren't coaches back then. They were managers, mm-hmm. and you know, they just picked the team. But even this day and age, like if you look, if you look at um, Fairfield, um, the facilities they have down there, you know, they have a lovely dressing room. They have another dressing room like that as well, and um, there's Fairfield Pop's Hill, Pop's Pop, Hill, Pop's Hill. Yeah. But Nakhon Celtic then is like. Well, well Nakhon Celtic mm-hmm. is the worst facilities ever, you know. And even when Nakhon Celtic was doing well over the last few years, when they were playing in the FA Junior Cup, they had to go use Castle Views facilities because sure. they'd no run and water, yeah. they'd no tie the facilities. That's actually embarrassing, you know. Changed, it, yeah. it, it, it is embarrassing, but as, as we spoke well ago, James, about like if like Vincent's in, lot, is in our palace, you know, say Vincent's the GA team and, and the great club. But if, if, if you put all the soccer clubs together that are in our palace, you would have some club then you might have the facilities, mm-hmm. you know, the facilities yeah. to match them. You see, soccer is so white, you know, so mm-hmm. white based, yeah. like in every, you know, yeah. and it's too easy for fellas to start up a, a club in, you know what I mean? So yeah. the money is spread out then, you yeah. know. But obviously, like, you don't get the back in either from the no. government or the politicians. I remember know. a few years ago, John Delaney went to Grattan, remember? Yeah, he gave yeah. them a few quid. Yeah, but yeah he came up to Casper as well. Yeah, you know? but yeah. as you said, there's so many clubs there. There's too, there's too many soccer clubs as opposed to GA clubs. You know what I mean? You, you need the right people behind the clubs too, James. You need yeah. you need good good. But you do know, like like the, like there's a lad Rodney Paul up at Casper. Yeah. You know, young man like he gives his life to Casper. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like. He probably doesn't know he's not looking for, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, to get things out of it. He just wants the year he threw away, he's from Grand himself. But like, the, the work that, he, that man does, uh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, uh, you know, it's not, but like, we come from mm-hmm. that area, the working class area, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I was old, I managed with Douglas Hall for a while, and I see it, I'd be looking at the kids in Douglas Hall. And like, it, it's, it's like, they're only too happy to give the club money to take their kids off their, mm. off their hands for a couple of hours. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> in all reality, yeah. some of the parents don't know where their kids are, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I don't mean yeah. to be... But that's just the way it that's is. That's the reality, reality, it is. That's right. reality yeah. of it. You know I think I mean? if you yeah. have, if you have um, a talented young fella on the north side and you have a talented young fella out in uh, Douglas, as you yeah, said, yeah. like they could be the exact same young fellas with mm. the same abilities mm. But they come up against different obstacles in life, yeah. and 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 then the Douglas side of it, fair play to the parents out there. They might have more resources, and but this young fella on the north side, there might be addiction issues. There might be joyriding and drug dealing and all these things in his area, and there's way more things he can get caught up in. You know, so talent alone yeah, is not agree, enough. I agree with you, all, but I don't agree with you because I, I, I think they have them issues out there. It's in like the Corinthians along mm. this aisle as well. You know. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's widespread, but, like you know. But they're not. They're they're not more. Pro- they're not in your face as much. You know, but, yeah, but like because yeah. they have money, I suppose they can hide a bit though. Do you yeah, know what I mean? True too. It's basically it. Yeah. You know. But I think for the, as you said, like for the talent that we produce, we don't. Well, the facilities the, aren't there, obviously. The yeah. facility. But at the same time, I think I think as you know, for the real good talented boys, you know, it, 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 there's more there now mm. to kind of you know what I'm saying. But it ha- has to be nurtured. It has to, see, like when I, when I was growing up, there was no one really, that's just me, yeah. all, the, you know, yeah. all, the, all the lads I played with, there was no one callous by the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, look, this is what you have to do, you know? Yeah. But at least no, there are fellas there, you know, the, the, the decent lads, there, yeah. you know, they want to do well for the kids and they're trying to steer them in the right direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was there wasn't any of that before, really. You know what I mean? And but you know, when you were younger and you were playing soccer, there was no Cork City. It was Cork Celtic or Cork. Yeah, when I grew up, it was Hibs and Celtic. But they, yeah, there was two teams, and it, it was brilliant. It was yeah. br- it was outstanding. You know, my yeah. brother law mine, he's he's the down with Buckley. He was bringing me to the games. You know, one week you go to the cross, and the next week you go to you know. I was a Celtic supporter, so you go to Hibs. The following week, home they'd lose, like you know. But, <laughs> but brilliant teams, like yeah. you know. I, I I I I got a break yeah. because. Just around the corner, like they, they, there was three. There was like my the famous Maya Denny. Yeah, yeah. was around the corner. Jolly Finnegan was a brilliant player for the, you know. He played with Hibs and Jolly Miles. He's now a manager of mine. He played with Celtic. You know, he was involved with Celtic when they won the league in '74. Like a hanky would cover the three of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. like I could be going to school and Jolly Finnegan would be and he's called you. He was a coal man, and he'd be striking the ball up and down with his brother. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm looking at, you know, you're looking at him. It's, 
you fronted maybe 20,000 down the floor, lads. The Denny, he's a great uh, soccer family who won there. Moya, yeah. didn't he get a hat trick in a, he, a uh, he final? He was the first time to get a first man to get a hat I think his brother then got nine goals in an AOL game. That was another first. No, I, I, I think it, it, was, it, it was in Moya's, uh, but it was uh, his uh, first cousins. The Nahis, they'd be more, uh, okay, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But they, they were steeped in football. All, they all played. Yeah, I think yeah. Grattan, there was six or seven of them on the team. One day I played, you know, they yeah. were, but, all very good players, you yeah. know what I mean. But uh, my dad and my me, me dad and my uncles would be big league Ireland fans. But they tell me stories about Flo Lodge back yeah. in the day and thousands at it for five years. Oh, it's um, unbelievable. unbelievable. Where's the, where was Perky it's Ring? It's no. Perky Ring. No, oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. And like the crowds would be twenty thousand. Like a game, you know, the, the famous games would play up Waterford yeah. and the uh, actually great Cal Humphrey scored a goal for you know Cockburn yeah. scored for Waterford that day. He was with two up. This, the story goes that they, they, the cop directors went out for champagne. There was only 10 minutes left. They were two up. <laughs> and he came back in the waterfall but after winning 3 2. You know, <laughs> Cal, Cal, you know, the great Cal Humphrey scored one of the goals for Waterford. But there was 20, 25,000 people at it. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it, it was, you know. How did the GAA end up with Parky Ring then? Do you know the story? I, behind don't, that, I right? do, but I do you know. I like it's too political. It's, uh, it's, too, <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's a pity that it was ever lost to. Uh, that's yeah. another story, you know, James. And I can't, another I podcast, you, maybe. You, you don't want to be sold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll move yeah. on swiftly. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, yeah. after after school boys or your youth days, what happened after that? Where did you go? Um, I think you're back. You have to backtrack a bit because it, it's um, because at the end of the, uh, when I was sixteen, I went off to Bolton, you know, okay. which was real at the time for a fella to go to England, you know. Yeah, and uh, I. I I'm just lucky enough to go up, up but because I, I was never coached properly, or, or you know, I, I was never much older in the area, well, yeah. my friends and things like that. And going to England is obviously a big, big huge step, but back then we hadn't even a phone at home, you know, phone, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not like yeah. no, like you didn't have WhatsApp. So I, I, I might have yeah. well been in the middle of Africa, as yeah. being, you know what I mean? Because there was no contact. I was 16, I was over the ground, and he was, he was over there, and he just swore. I'm, I, I can't be doing this, like you know. Yeah. So I lasted two weeks, and, and I came back, and I swore I'd never go back to England again. Mm. And I actually packed up football, then you know what I mean. Oh yeah. In my head, I was gone. I, I was. I, no, I loved the game. I loved playing yeah. the game in local and things like that. But to be, you know, as you, like we all did growing up, we wanted yeah. to be footballers. Mm. But I actually didn't want to be a footballer after that. Like you, you know, know. associated being good at football with going to England, and you didn't like the oh, idea. Well, that's what it was, you know. Yeah. You know, like everybody, that's what everybody, everybody wanted you to know, do. Like, yeah. Everyone went to go and play in England, you yeah, know. Sure. We, because, had, you know. we had Garrod Morrissey here a few weeks ago, and very similar experience went over at 16 and was just very homesick and fell out of love with the game, you know, and came home. And you know, it's yeah, not, it's but not but easy for be, young lads. To be like, fair to Garrod, you know, I mean, to be fair, when he came back into the club, then you know, and he done well, he got to move back over. Yeah, that shows a lot <coughs> that a mental strength over him, you know, that he, mm. he, he done that, you know, and he, mm. at least he, he gave it a go. And he, it was brilliant, you know what I mean? Yeah. I great respect for lads like that, you yeah. know? Uh, Brian Linehan, you had Brian Linehan, I, yeah, I watched the yeah, podcast, yeah. and he opened up in the podcast, and uh, and he he said, uh, he was talking about the football career, you mentioned football, and he said, yeah, my failed uh, football career. And, you know, I, I, I was saying to myself... He achieved more than 99% of his life. Jesus like. Christ almighty. How many fellas would love to be in a position, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he was so unfair on himself, you know. Great know. lad, I see him playing, outstanding lad, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. And and I I just felt sorry for him that he talked that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. You know, I, hope, I hope I hope you know wish him well in the rest of it. But like he was outstanding, you know nice. what I mean. It was fair from a. <laughs> he, yeah. he done that more than I ever did. I tell you, you and, know what I mean. And and ninety nine percent of fellas, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, Cat I free his country I, and yeah, playing yeah, Premier League. You know, and I just uh, you know I just I, uh, like he was. You know, being be hashing himself, I thought, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, as, as, you know. It sounds like a really tough environment for, well, for five, an Irish lad to go over to England. Yeah, yeah. but it is, like, you know, because, like, I got the all this stuff and all that that yeah. was going at the time, you know, yeah, in Bolton, imagine, you know, yeah. 16 years of age, oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that was part and parcel of, you know, trying to get, you know what I mean? It was doggy dog. I didn't know that. I was young for that. Mm. You know, the bank of fellas getting at and things like that. Mm. You know, uh, but you, like, as you get older, you'll have to live with these things. Yeah. Do you understand what mm. I'm saying? Like, it, it's helping a young lad, You're never a been older. You're a teenager, like. You see what I mean? 
So, it was later on, didn't it? You, you know, you, you, you know, it's, it's, yeah. things like that happen in dressing rooms and things like that, you know. But it's it's house and young lads, like, yeah. you, know, mm. you know. And you know when you came home and you packed it in for a while? I pa- yeah, I, like I did. I, 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 I didn't pack in football because I loved the game. Yeah. I loved the game. I, I played, uh, Shannon View broke up. Um, I had no job. Club called Central Rovers above in the no, Central, yeah. Yeah, Central. Uh, manager called Philly Single and shop short and say Brooks and Hartons. And <laughs> half the team were working in Brooks and Hartons. <laughs> That's said, how it works, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, if you, you get your job if you play, like, sure, you know what I mean? So I'm sure I'd not club anyway, as such, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I didn't care, you know what I mean? And I know some of the lads, like so. And uh, we, we, like, again, it's very successful uh, for Junior, you know, we were only young, young lads, you know. And uh, and we famously, I suppose, very well, we, we won the Irish Cup, was big at the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, like we were kids, you know. That's like, the biggest trophy in junior soccer. It, it is really. Back yeah. then, it was, it was, you know what I mean. And it we had, yes. and we had yeah. beaten. Like, we were only a first division team, but we had beaten, I think, three Premier, you know, the yeah. top, and one of them was Temple. And it was the greatest kick we because they're right next to each other as well. No, like. but we drank in the same bell, yeah. Well, I know, you know, but yeah. they had to draw a stone from Central yeah. to Temple, like. yeah. But like, no, but Central didn't, the Rovers didn't play up there at the time. Oh, was it, where we were played they, in yes? a place up beyond a place called Grenade, up beyond oh, Blair, yeah, 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 yeah. that's where Central Rovers pitch at the time was, oh, okay, yeah. But we all drank in the same bell, yeah. And they were the superstars, and we were the upstarts, <laughs> and we beat them on that in the quarter final, it's cup, but like, I, 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 like. I remember, like, it's a great story because my own brother, he was hanging on when the, 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 the Temple Mentors, no one happened it. And I remember Frankie Tharp, brilliant player. He clattered me anyway, you know, when he was open. <laughs> and my brother, get up, you clown. He was... <laughs> <laughs> He went to Temple to win, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he was over him, dear, like, you know. I, I tell you, it's oh, funny, dear. Oh, God. Great, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> file out all the time, but yeah. I just, you know, funny things like that. Yeah. Like, get up, you clown, he said. I said, right, fair enough. <laughs> but we beat him anywhere, but like, it turned out we, we, we had very good players, it turned out to be, you know, that we had good players, you know what I mean? But yeah. at the time, we were only kids. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, that fizzled out then, and I uh, cast me up because I obviously didn't have to, you know, with cast me up because, but one season, then I went League of Ireland, no man, So, um, or was it like moving from junior to... I did it all. <laughs> it was... It was... Because I remember he came up to the door and I actually had a flu at the time. Seriously had a flu, yeah. like, you know. And he came to the door, Patsy. Actually, I didn't, it wasn't Cox City. It was a, 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 a thing called Newcastle West from Limerick. Mm. Up in... Uh, up, right? The, yeah. the post division was just after it started off. So Noel, the famous Noel man, he played with him. Yeah. And uh, he says... Um, he came to the door anyway, Patsy will go. And I had no, actually, I was laid off at the time. So I'd know, this is another thing. No, I'd never played League of Ireland if I had a job, right? <laughs> that's, that's a fact. <laughs> so he said, will you play? I said, no, I'm not fit at all. I don't care about that, he says. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And by Christ, did he not care? Run. But uh, up to Newcastle for one season. And uh, like that, no, so they, 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 like the step up was... But all of us was really the fitness. Yeah. Once I got fit, it was, you know. So Noel took over Cox City the following season and he, he brought me in, like, you know, and that's where the talks, you know, I think it was 86. They started off in 84, Cox City. So I think it was 85, 86 or something. Carfield, Carfield joined the same year, John Carfield. And, uh, yeah, after that, then it was. The rest you know, is history, is this, yeah? The rest is history. But, uh, but you, so the. The step up is not in terms of ability, it was just the fitness. Oh, fitness, ah, Jesus, yeah. Fitness is everything. Mm. Like, you could have all the talent in the world. If you're not fit, you have no chance, you mm. know what I mean? No, I was never feeling, I was in my 30s, but that's, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know. But I, you, we were talking earlier on, coming out along, and uh, you know, there's a lot of fellas in junior soccer and most of the senior league that have huge amount of talent, mm. but they don't have that fitness and dedication to make it, to take it to the oh, next yeah, level. I have great respect for lads like that, you know, because yeah. I never had that when I was in my 30s, you know. Yeah. But I, I always respected lads that worked very hard. Yeah. Like, like, like the nollies. I, I, I played with very few nollies, you know what I mean? We do look at it, you know, but that's not talent-wise at all. That's lads that just wanted, you know, because the talent is always there. Yeah. 
Like Declan Daly is probably the best pro I've ever come across, you know, like captain of Cox City. Mm. Philip Long was a great pro. Mm. You know, they never drank or, you know, never smoked. Like, mm. they, 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 they done it the right way, you know. That's and I always cool. looked up to him. I mean, Dick, he was younger yeah. than me, but he, he, like, he was like a father figure to me mm. because he'd kind of look after me a bit, you know. Yeah. Because uh, when I got up to me shenanigans, he'd be the fella yeah. that, that'd be looking after me. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, Billy, if you were Liam Muff, he was a great pro. Yeah, dear Billy, you know, I, I, I never gave it that commitment, mm. you know. But... I always worked very hard in training, I always worked very hard on the pitch, but it was in between was my uh, problem, mm. you know. Mm. But, uh, Do you know when Ferguson came into United around that yeah. time in 86, you know, there was a culture of drinking yeah, in the yeah, club. Yeah. Was was that was that the culture in Cox City FC at yeah, the time? Yeah, I think it was uh, part and parcel. In really. Soccer in general. In, in, in soccer in general, you know, because you, like, you play the game, you give your best, and then you go to the pub, mm. you know. And it was... Uh, it was that way all, all over, you know. I just kind of took it to another level. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because, like, as I said, the, like, the lads I named out there, they wouldn't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when you said you took it to another level, Patsy, do you know, is that... Yeah, well, it's well documented like? to me, you know, about me drinking, you know oh, what I mean? I don't think anyone in yeah. cock doesn't know about me drinking, you know what I mean, my yeah, 20s. Yeah. Well, since I was a young lad, really, yeah. you know? Yeah. It does so I never, I yeah. never, yeah, I never, I never... See, that's what I'm talking about, I never... I, I was never feeling me tough these like, mm. I went off to drink, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. I was I was haunted, very lucky. I had I had played with City, for, you know, and... and I suppose it's a bit of a name for myself, but I know I was never, mm. I was never 100% I, I, I fit like. I mm. always knew I could do better. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, But it yeah. was the drinking and the, 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 as I said, when I went training, no one traded harder than me. They might, they might be quicker than me, done more. Yeah. But I always put in 100 like every single time I went training. And I think the managers knew that as well, you know. And But like, it was, the, it just came a time and it just got too much for me, you know. Mm. But it, it, I just... Mm-hmm. I remember we were over and then it's me starting over football and again. Your grand, why your <laughs> when I start, I can't stop. <laughs> okay. This is uh, where you're here. Uh, but this, I tell you, know, this is the last time I'm ever going to tell a story again. Yeah, we're, we're delighted to have you here. Anyway. No, but we were we we, we went to a uh, some we were in the China. Uh, 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 sorry, a tournament in China. That's very random, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How we got there, I don't know. But like, see, like that's the time you now, like. I had, see, I had, in my head, I was gone from Cork City. I had, do you know what I mean? Mm. I was gone. Yeah. I had broke me, metatarsal. Mm. There was a broken bone at the time in my ankle. Yeah. The, there was no fancy. Metatarsal, yeah. That only came when David Beckham when broke David it. David Beckham came <laughs> in. I had a bro- But like the thing about the foot is that it takes ages to recover. And I missed that season. And we were beating the last game of the season in uh, by Dundalk to, to win the league. You know what I mean? And I had been, I'm not saying all right, but I think if I was at Paul Bannon, Mr. A, a, the great Paul Bannon, God be good to him. And I think if we two of us were playing at the end, we would have won the league because it had never went to the last, you know, mm-hmm. and there's something that always rankled for me. But saying that, my head was gone. I was, I was, I wasn't, I was packing up Cock City. But we went to China and did the summer and I told Noel, the manager, that I was packing up and Long story, anyway, I was going, right? But we thought we were going, like, you know, play a few games, the Chinese, the small fellas, like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And, you know, and, and the beer. <laughs> we went over, anyway, we never released how big it was, you know? We got off the, off the plane, cameras all over the, the airport. They thought we were the Irish team, you know? <laughs> oh, they were looking for Jack Charlton. Yeah. And I don't know who spun this now, like, that. Were, but they, they actually, you know, oh, Jesus Christ, well, we have to let ourselves in here, you know? Played the game anyway, we were trained, you know, we trained hard. We, I think the team was really coming together at the time, you know. But we had no training and it was the summer. I think we trained for a week or two. I had been just over the players that thing. And uh, so there was a game every night, but it was televised. You know, there was hundreds of millions, mm-hmm. you know, the Chinese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, there's so many of them there. And where we were staying, all, all the foreign teams were staying in the one hotel. But you never see the other teams like Poland and you know the Polish international side. You never see them. We were always around the place, like yeah. you know. But you never see them. You just see them passing out for training and back into the room. So we went to they put on the bus anyway to go to the game. It was Den Haag, the Dutch, 
Ja. Yeah. The Dutch team. I don't then had the other playing against the Romanian international side. That was the first game. <laughs> we went to the the blood drain over my face. I said, what are we after letting ourselves in for? You know, it was green class like, you know. Mm. I said, Jesus Christ, not mine. I never came outside the hotel again. Mm. Every, we went back and we said, lads, there's no more drink. You yeah. know, we, ourselves, the manager didn't even say, yeah. there's no more drink. You get embarrassed, like. We'll get embarrassed here, you know. Yeah. And we sat the train and we, we, we were beating three nothing by Poland. But it was like winning the cup final to us, just mm. to keep them down to three. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was a brilliant tournament, you know. Yeah. But I oh, sorry, I went away from at the end of the tournament anyway. We were above. There was a swimming pool up at the top of the the hotel, and all the boys were jumping. No, he was just getting off the ride. Jumping. No, he was. I was drinking at the point. You know, at the side, they sitting down looking at the boys, and the chairman came up and he said, "Lads, we're after drawing Bell Munich in the UEFA Cup." You know, yeah. so, oh, the lads were jumping around. You know, as you next, you know, and I'm there like that, and even boys and I, <laughs> I kept drinking because I know I was gone. So I, you know, I was gone in my head, and, and, and it was the biggest probably mistake I ever made. You know, mm. but that was just me at the time. You know, right? That was me and me drinking. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, it just doesn't matter. Like if it was fucking Bayern Munich or Bray Wanderers, you just hadn't the head wasn't right. Oh, I was, I was finished. I see, because I was drinking more. Uh, you know what I mean? It was hard. I was getting a bit older. I was twenty-seven. I was finished. I went down to Cov. Yeah. For an easier life. Mm. Yeah. Is that one of your biggest regrets? Going to Cov. No, <laughs> no, no offense to Cov. Yeah, yeah. Missing the Bayern Munich game. Um, no, I'm not missing. A lot of people obviously talk about it. You know what I mean? And it, 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 I'd have to say, it, I, it's not a big thing with me. Okay. You know, it's not a big thing with me at all, because like they were beaten by boards in the following year in the cup final. Daily Mount Park, and I was up watching it. And I thought, if I was on the pitch, Did I really? think we could have won it. Yeah. <laughs> but that yeah. was just, you know what I mean? That, yeah. And then the following year, they won the league. Yeah. And I missed all that, you know? Mm. And, uh, but I was, look, I was, I was haunted because uh, the club wasn't going well. And Dave Bally came in as manager, mm. and I had got off the drink, and I was happy. I was happy, I was happy in my head. You know what I mean? I, I was. Yeah. I was up there with Jonah, Jerry Miles was the manager up yeah. at Everton and I was happy out and, and I was I, I playing well because I wasn't drinking. Yeah. And, uh, that's it too. Yeah. And in fairness to Jerry, you know, so he's, he Patsy, I think he's ready to go back. You're ready to go back. So Jerry, I'm happy don't back. You know. He said, I'm packing up here. Well, he said, I said, if you're not, you know, so Dave, he came along, you know. And I said the same to Dave. So Dave, look, I've been a great player now with a... Uh, but look, I, I said, I'll give it a go. I said, look, if I'm not enjoying it, I'm packing up. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you don't think I'm good enough, just say it to me, there's no problem. And uh, that's when the first time I ever got fit in my life. Yeah, no lease of life. <laughs> and I, I probably played the best football in my life as well, in my thirties, which yeah. is a bit funny, but that's the I, way I it is. I understand that a million percent, though, yeah. Patsy. Like yeah. how, how you have to go through stuff to come out the other end and then to, to really get yeah, fit yeah. and be able to look after yourself. Yeah. Happened me in my thirties as well. Yeah, but it, like, do you know, yeah. but like to me, the way I look at it, one day lucky, you know what I mean? That I, I was able to get a second chance at it, yeah. do you know what I mean? And, uh, and I, you know, Dave gave me that chance, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, but uh, to be fair, like we, we sent Dave play together, so he knew, yeah. he knew what he was getting, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And if he was getting his, his sober patsy, you know what I mean? He, he, you know. So like, yeah, that was. Did did you, know. you did you win win much when you we did win off? The funny thing, I, I, see, this is it. Like, I, this is the biggest thing. I, I never won a league. Yeah. You know, we were second about sixteen times. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, you know what I mean? <coughs> yeah. But I think I think on the day we were very unlucky yeah. because um, we got very very close. Like the older boys are still around, you know, mm. Carfield, Dickey, Stephen Napier. Mm. But we had very, very young lads, good players, but they were very young. Mm. Ali Kale, Derek Hall, and, you know, but they all went on to win leagues afterwards, Cox League. Mm. Derek won the league with uh, Boers. 
And he went down to win numerous things with Shelburne up until, you know what I mean? He was a yeah. really good player. But I, I, at our time, there was, the gap was too, you know, we were in our 30s, they were only just coming out of their teens, early 20s. Well, it was a bit more close or in age, I think we would have won a lot of stuff. We won a cup, you know yeah. what I mean? But, uh, and a couple of League Cups or whatever. But it was a great time. Yeah. Close to back in Tolman's Cross, it was just a great time, you know? Yeah. And it was only basically for the football, you know? Anything else wasn't really interesting me, you know yeah. what I mean? You know, we won a League Cup. But, you know, I went to suspended for the, the second leg of the day. The, the, it was a double leg thing. We were playing Rovers. Right. I think they, we, the, the hard work, I think, was done up, up in Dublin. I, think we dropped, I know we'd beat them here. Mm. But I was suspended for it. And, you know, I was, mm. I was up walking the dogs a half an hour after the game. Like, so, but, like, yeah. I was happy out, you know. You sensible, like, yeah. It was just that I, I played the game. I loved it. But, like, that was finished and go, go halfway home, you know. Yeah. I mean, and it was great. Do you know, who's the... Like, in, in, in that era, who was the, the best players that you were coming up against? I know I heard you speaking very well of Paul Ozam uh, before. Yeah, but oh, see, they, they, like, Ozo, Ozo was a monster. Ozo mm. was about, about 12 foot. He was huge. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And a right good player as well. Do you know Pats what I mean? were strong that time as well. Uh, Pats, the yeah, I see, they cost us a league in one or two leagues as well. But they had a, they had a brilliant, brilliant midfield. Eddie they, Gormley. They, Gormley, Ozo and Russell. Mm. That was that was a serious serious because they were all match winners, you know what mm. I mean? They could all, you know, they, they, were all, well. they were outstanding, you know, they were, they were you could and it was tough. You, like it was tough in the way that it wouldn't matter what you know, like the next fella you know what I mean? And and, and yeah. but like we we were unlucky as well, you know, but they were they they, they, they were, that was a very good midfield, you know. Yeah. Well, Paul Dolan was probably, I always thought, was the best of all generation, my generation. You know, you Fenlin as well, you know, the yeah. big, like, but Dolan was, was uh, I think, uh, but the tough, like, I never went out, like, when every time I went out in the park, it was like, I did, it didn't really matter. It was, it was, every, they were all tough. Yeah. Do you know, know. they were all, they were all, 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 all clear, but so it wouldn't matter what, who you were. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you know, on your day, the fellas you were playing against, could be a match winner, you know mm. what I mean? So, Do you know what, 80s and 90s soccer in England and, and yeah, Ireland, yeah. it tended to be, while as in the air a lot, the turf isn't as good as it is. Do you think that the modern game would have suited you better oh, as a, a ball playing <laughs> midfielder? <laughs> well, only don't, yeah, because well, in the 80s, uh, it was like tennis. And I, 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 was, <laughs> I was, you know, you could be a midfield and, you know, you'd be just going... Ball watching, <laughs> you know, I mean, watching the ball in the air, and, yeah. but that's the way it was, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're just hoping that it will come down the ground sometime. You know? yeah. <laughs> you know? but you look, that's 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 just the way, you know what I mean? At the time, you know, it was big physical vibes, you know. But obviously, you could play, but but that's the way the game was, you know mm. what I mean? But yeah, it's just the same that to what you have, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah but everyone would say, you know. I'm sure everyone would say, like, sure, like, like the pitches they're playing on today, you know, the balls. Like, you see them bend, like, you watch goals in any divisions now and they're bending balls in front of the air and they're all doing it. Mm. Like, yeah. when I was growing up and looking at Brazil, if you see a Brazilian building the ball, you'll be, oh, Jesus, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's obviously it's something to do with the balls as well, yeah. you know what I mean? They're a lot lighter and. Ah, they're, you know, mm. but look, t- technically today they're brilliant as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's only practice. You know, yeah, any fella that has a bit of talent, you know, if you practice anything, like, a bad player would become a decent player if you practice long enough, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, Do you know, when you're coming out uh, into Turner's Cross for full house for the big game, what's that feeling like? Is that a very proud moment for you? Is that some of the highlights? Yeah, uh, uh, see, I... I it's something that it's, we kind of aspired to be when we are younger. Like, yeah, you know. it's something... Because I was invited, involved in the, the senior league there for the last few years, you know, with Temple and, and Douglas Hall and that, you know, and, and, you know, very good league, you know, very good teams, you know, very good managers. Billy Cron has been outstanding for years and years at Rockmount, you know. Carp, he done his thing with Avondale in, in the yeah. college. Fergus MacDade, you know, with Corinthians before that, you know, they were all, you know, they all, all done very well, won trophies, and like, and I'm looking at it, you know, and I, I and I like, we won the league ourselves with Casabio, you know, which which I'm very proud of because 
that's almost for me now. But the team were all local lads above. Mm. There was no one came in from anywhere else, you know yeah. what I mean? And that was that was a very, very pro because they were all yeah. knowledge, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> but um but I looking at it and I was saying like, you know, they wouldn't they like they're intermediate cups and they'll and I and I always said it to myself, like, you know. I'd rather play one League of Ireland game in Thomas Cross than win ten intermediate cups. Mm. Now that's just me. Yeah. I'm sure other fellas would have different. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But that's what I meant to me while going up in Thomas Cross. I I I, I loved it. Mm. I, I love I love playing for Cox City. I love playing for and it was just the playing of the game, it, 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 you know, trying to keep the crowd happy. They are playing, they are playing a couple of pound, mm. and like putting a smile on their faces. You know what mm. I mean? And and that's all. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, 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 you know, a lot of players play for themselves today, but like any club is the supporters of the club. Yeah. And I was always very aware of that, you know. <laughs> and like they'd always give time to supporters. I went to games because. They are quite entitled to, to say it. if they can't make you a shit good player, I would say it. that's fair enough. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're entitled to your opinion. And a lot of times they were right as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially yeah. if you were 20 <laughs> points maybe before. Uh, no, no, you, no, yeah, some, no. Sometimes you play better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but I, that's a myth actually, because I thought that as well. As <laughs> I did, I had a funny head go over there. So I always play better with a few points in me. Uh, like that's, snooker. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I see that but, uh, snooker as well. I think that's a myth that hits us up with you. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to me, yeah. you know, as I said, everything know. is hard work. Any yeah. sport, anything is always hard work, hard work, hard work. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if, if there's only one thing you say to me, young lad, growing up, work hard. After that, the talent comes through. You know yeah. what I mean. What would you say the highlight of your career was? Could you pick one moment? See, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you talk about careers, like, yeah. <laughs> I you don't think I had a career. You know, well, you too. You, you, you <laughs> don't, 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 don't look. I don't look. I don't look as, as as being a career. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, like career. I, I kind of cringe yeah. about careers. You know. Because you're yeah, part time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. The real life is. You see, like we do, you know, professional players, their life, and they have to, to do certain things and things like that. Yeah. And to be fair, I always say that the, the, you know the likes of Dave and, and Dicky and and Carfield and myself. You know, there was a core of us there. You know, great players came after us. But all we ever wanted to do was for the club to progress to the next level. Mm. Do you understand what I'm mm. saying? That's all. You know, it, yeah. it wasn't really about us. Oh, we wanted to win and things like that. Of course, yeah. But it was like trying to bring the club to the next level, next level, next level, you know, for the, the, the lads coming in after us, you know. Yeah. And I get a great kick out of that, like, you mm. know, when I see young lads coming on, you know. Mm. Yeah. And I'm proud, I go and I watch them now, and I'm a supporter, and, yeah. and I, I like to see them doing well, and I didn't like to see them getting... Of course. But, like, that's, that's grand too. Mm. But I, I think, see, there's a lot of... Just going back to what you were saying, there's a lot of... I think I, I, there's a couple of kicks I got in football, and it wasn't matches or anything like that. It's just individual players, you know, that you respect. But when I did go out, you know, when they had to drink, and back playing with Cork City and things like that, and we went up to Daly Mount Park, and uh, we were playing balls, and there was a few of the, the lads, we were out warming up, and a few of the balls lads. I won't mention, you know, the mm. real good players now, you know. And they came down to our side of the pitch before the game and they just said, welcome back, Patsy. They just shook me hand and went away, you know. And, yeah. and That's a lovely moment, it's, isn't it? It's a, I tell you now, it's a, it's a lovely, <laughs> lovely moment that, like, they, they went all of their way, especially before the game. Mm. Because I, there's no way I could be shaking for hands with fellas on the other side before the game, yeah. warming up, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there was a few of the odd, they just, they just jogged down. Huge respect, Sean, And yeah. they just said, welcome back, Patsy. And that was it, like, you know. Yeah. And I scored to say, I might be beat on my dog. <laughs> no, no, no. You <laughs> didn't get a shake after. <laughs> no, but you yeah. know, like, yeah. like... Yeah, like if I, I understand that, though. I understand that, though. Oh, I understand that oh, Jesus, like, yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it, 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 like, Phil is terrible with the throw. It wasn't about that for me, you know. You felt Every respected, yeah. Away. It was, it was a nice moment, you know. Yeah, what I mean, that, you know, they're really good players of, you know, in Dublin. 
that, that, like they, they went all the way to come down and just shake my hand, you know, and yeah. think, you know, it's just mm. say welcome back. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a big thing to me, you know. Do you know when you were playing with Cork City, you played a couple of European ties. What, where were they? Like, did, did you find that it was a big step up playing against the European teams? <laughs> I tell you what I was, no chance. Like, as, you, as you're, you're part-time and you're coming up yeah, against yeah. professionals. And, and, and you hit the nail on the head of being part-time. Because you go up and, like, you're playing. Like, we never got money, you know, it's much money, you know yeah. what I mean? It's a couple of pounds or whatever. So, we weren't actually paying for money. No, if they wanted to give him money, you weren't going to say no. But, like, <laughs> more often than that, they say, you're not getting anything, you know, or you're not getting the raise or whatever. I never signed a contract in my life, you know what I mean? So, mm. I, like, it was in the boat, you know. But when you... I always felt that the, 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 the European games with the bonuses for putting in it all, all the hard work. Mm. You know, that you go away for a few days, you, 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 you're like a pro team for a few days, you know, you're all together, you're training before games, you know, mm. best of facilities, you know what I mean? Mm. And, you know, you go... Places like Switzerland, oh, like, it's... Jesus yeah. Christ, I'm weak. Like. There's a f- four aside pitch, there's five aside pitches, there's seven aside pitches, you know, all, all, unbelievable, like. Mm. And uh, the game start, obviously, you're nervous like any other game. But, like, Ten minutes, no problem, this is a piece of piss. Yeah. Twenty minutes, no problem, this is a piece of piss. About fifty minutes, you know, oh boy, you know. But they're still going at the same pace. Yeah. And that's the difference. Mm. That is the difference. It's fitness. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like, you, no matter how hard you try uh, as a part time, you'll never get to the fitness of, as a full time. You know mm. what I mean? And that's that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know what I mean? As I said to you before, you can only show your true talent if you're fit. You know, if mm. you, that's basically it. The talent's you know no good unless you're the fitness. It's like no good, no. It's, it's, it's no good to anybody, you know? Yeah. You know? I don't I say there's no good to anybody. I know, but it's only half the battle. Like. Have to have the fitness first, and, yeah. then, and then whatever you have comes out, you know what mm, I mean? Yeah. 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 There's another, another part there as well, the attitude too. I, I, I think the attitude of a player and how he looks at it and his work ethic is very important as well. They might have all the talent in the world if they don't have the right attitude. You know, our guidance even. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I don't think I ever lacked that attitude mm. because it was the one thing you'll be aware of. Um, That fans would know this. Mm. That if you didn't try, they'd know. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? No, I was lucky enough I never had that problem. Yeah. But I've seen them getting after lads that, you know what I mean? And I know the lads have been playing. I don't think... It's one particular, I won't mention his name, you know? But, like, w- w- when he was good, he was he looked brilliant. Mm. But when he wasn't so good, he looked as if he wasn't trying. Mm. And, and that was hard. Like it, was the, it was in the way, you know what I mean? But, you know, that's the way... That's yeah. the way it goes. Like, you look know. At but it. I've, I've seen other lads that didn't work either, yeah. but they'd get it. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's like looking at Harry Kane these days. I was only t- talking to somebody about him the other day. He's somebody that could stay on the pitch for 85 minutes and hit the ball once and score a goal. Yeah. You know, mm. you can never say, oh, he, he's useless. Or right. He's oh. just one of these players. Yeah, that's yeah. why he's getting the big bucks to me. Do yeah. you know? <laughs> oh, do you know, who, when you, know who I was thinking about when you were talking there? Yeah. Anthony Martial from Man United. On yeah, his day, yeah, world yeah. class, you yeah. play him all the time. But when he's bad, he's awful. His yeah. body language is awful. He doesn't look like he wants to be there. And he gets a lot of flack for it because he yeah. looks like he's not yeah. even trying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the that's the case in point, actually, yeah. You, yeah. you know what I mean? But like, it's the consistency that Ryan Keane always talks about. You know, whatever happens, try fucking it. run. Yeah. You know, you stick your leg in and get stuck yeah. in. Yeah. Get st- always get stuck in and, and just give it 110%, even though when your head's not there, just just play hard. You know? Do you ever play against the uh, English clubs? Well, we see, long ago, we, uh, uh, a lot of English clubs used to come to pre season to Ireland. They don't anymore, but I when know. I, it's, it's, you know, even in the 90s. I remember I used to go to a lot of Pats games. I remember yeah. West Ham come off the Pats one year. Harry Redknapp was the manager. Did Paolo De Canio and everything on the team. Yeah. Celtic used to come over a lot. And there used to be kind of little tours yes. of English clubs uh, coming over. Celtic was here. We played against the United, um, Spurs, Gaza and Lineker in the team, you know. What was it like sharing a pitch with Gaza? He's fucking off his game. Is he? <laughs> Is he as good as... I tell you, no, no, I tell you, no, it's only just, it's only just me because when I look at him in the telly, I think, oh, fuck, I can't remember that. Mm. <laughs> but 
I actually thought he was going to be the best player in the world until he'd done his knee. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, he just, he was just outrageous at times, you know. He played again with the pre-season outside and talking about the deafness now. <laughs> we played again, right, it was pre-season out in Musgrave Park, right. Philip Long, clattered nine, fella that scored against Arsenal in oh, the Cup when it for Seville. That's right, right yeah. Over, nine, over, over, over the keeper's head. Fil- that one, yeah. yeah. Philip clattered him, right. So the ball comes into the thing. Gaz has seen Philip Clatter and him. I'm going for the ball. Gaz went over me. But he caught me on the shin pad, so he was all right. So he's looking at him, like, you know what I mean? But he was just, right? So that was all right. He came on, walking off at half time. He runs over to me, puts his fucking hand around me. Uh, Why don't you get the ball? You can play a bit, he said. I have the same problem with that fucking show there, he said. <laughs> he's all right. And I'm looking at him, like, he said, Fuck it. And they were giving the manager, oh, manager, I don't know him any care, you know, sponsor for the year. And they drove around the pitch at half time, like, you know, presented to him. Half time came out, anyway, Gaza gets into the can, starts driving around the pitch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus but, yeah, uh, listen, in the second half, then he picked up the ball. He beat about 34 players. I'd say there was fellas running and they couldn't get the ball off him. <laughs> and he put, I tell you now. And he put the ball through our keeper's legs and he, like, we are looking like, you know, did he really do that, you know? Yeah. Oh, do you know, that was the... the it Serious was, talent, like... It was him in a nutshell, how yeah. daft he was and how, how brilliant yeah. he was, you know? It's that, fine line between, was. it's that fine line between genius and madness, isn't and it? He, yeah. he definitely had it, yeah. whatever it is. He yeah. definitely had it anyway. Yeah. He had uh, it, It's yeah. a great pity, you know what I mean? But, like, unfortunately, you know, there has been, as you said, we... Genius yeah. of Madness, and yeah. Georgie yeah. Best had it, you know what I mean? Exactly. Maradona you know, Harris. Maradona. I think a lot, a lot of lads had it, mm. you know what I mean? Footballers. Mm. I think it's a big thing with footballers now, the, mm. the mental health, you know? Mm. Because, because, especially today, probably it has always been. Because they, they don't do anything for themselves now. Mm. You know, if they have to go to the doctor, every, all the appointments are made from everything. Every, and then when that stops, everything like that stops. Mm. They don't even know how to look after themselves. Yeah. You know? Now they might have a lot of money, all right? Yeah. I know, but it's not everything. But they don't it. know how to look yeah. after themselves. And then, they're, what am I going to do now? Sort of thing, you and know, you, you know, know, if you have a bad game um, and you get stick on the pitch from the fans, as rightly so at times, back in the day, when you go home, that's that done. But now footballers have social media and yeah, it gets yeah. personal and it's 24 <laughs> 7 yeah. abuse. It can be racial, it can be all these yeah. sorts of things. You know? So I think social media um, is a big impact on modern day footballers. You know, it's 24 well, all 7. But, but on the other side of that, didn't James? It, like, it's, it, it's, a, it, it's about people around the club spotting that, I think, because there's, there's huge help there now for people like that, you know, yeah. if they want it. But it's, it's just spotting it first. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And just putting them in the right direction, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. If they could spot it early enough, put them in the right direction, they could, you know what I mean? Yeah. You probably wouldn't have half the problems, but... Yeah. How did you finish up with City? How did it end? Crying. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, I see, like... I, I, it's, what happened was that I was coming to the end anyway. I, I was an old man anyway. I was about 30 years or something like that. They have went, Manchester came in. Uh, he think he went back to England and uh, uh, Liam Murphy took over. You know, so I was assistant to... Uh, to Liam, so I, I, I only kind of kind doing, of doing a bit of caution. Yeah, yeah, but it was not a coach, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it was around the place, and, and 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 you know, like enjoyed being around the boys and things like that. But there's no, and I played a few games when we were caught and things. So I kind of fizzled out, but I, I knew going out. I played, we played walking out on cross one night after a game. I know I'd never play again, mm. and I. Cried all the way up to up to up to be yeah. mm-hmm. It's amazing, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't think I'd be, you know. But, mm-hmm. I, but I know I was never going to play there again, yeah. like you know, with, with Cox City, and it kind of hit me going, well, it's so deaf, you know. Yeah, it's, it's no a, problem with it's that. It's tough. Like. It's tough for athletes when they finish up like that. Like you know, just to imagine a life without that thing that they're so passionate about yeah. since they were a child. Now you're yeah. kind of moving into a new phase. Can be hard to deal with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think it's just the playing side of it with me. Yeah, I, I I still want to play. I know mm. I can, but I still we'll want to play. We'll have a game out in the car park after the yeah, but, like, but but you, but you understand, you know, I, I, do, I still yeah, yeah. want to play. You know, yeah. I have never given that up. Do you yeah. know what I mean in my head? 
Mm. I still wish I could still play, you mm. know, 20 years later. Yeah, I know. You know, but, uh, I suppose when but it's only the playing of it. it. It has nothing got to do with yeah. any of you, know, oh, yeah. you know, your name of the paper. It has nothing yeah. got to do with that, you know, I know. what I mean? It's just playing the game. But yeah. I, said it, I said it before here, Patsy, like in my, in my late teens and throughout my 20s, because I was in the throes of heroin addiction and prison and all that, like... I missed all them athletic years when I was in my prime. No, I was never going to be a great baller. But even just to play at a level, junior level, just to have, because I loved football. It was my life growing up. All I did was kick the ball off the wall and to lose out in all those years and just still a part of me. Mm-hmm. Like when I go out to watch my nephews, or yeah. I'd love to fucking tag out and have a game. And I tried it with Naka Celtic B team there for a couple of years, but my legs, my ankles, and all you <laughs> That excuse Yeah, you know, like you start picking up injuries I, yeah, and you have to miss it. work. And well, I obviously I tell you, but no matter what level you are, because I've said it to a couple of lads, you know, there's a lad out in Blairley, Rio Leary, fabulous player in the you know, senior league. He, he, I just think he's a fabulous player. And I met him in the petrol station, if, you know, and I think Ray's getting on a bit now, but like, I said, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't think I'll play a this year. You have your fucking game, I said. He said, look at the condition you're in. Mm-hmm. He said, you're still better than all of them, I said. Because mm-hmm. you're a great football mm-hmm. player. You know, and he looks yeah. after himself. I said, yeah. keep playing as long as you can. So, you know, and that's what it's all about, you know. And it doesn't matter what level you're at. Oh. Keep mm-hmm. playing as long as you can. Enjoying it for the love of it. Enjoying it for the love of it. And it keeps yeah. you healthy as well. It does, yeah. The key is to look after the body as well. You know, to keep it fit and healthy yeah. and do exercise, you know, whatever. Because I know for a fact if the two of us did go out there and have a kick about, we'd be probably going up to the hospital in an ambulance. Yeah, yeah well, I would anyway. I'm crippled, yeah. but like, yeah. that's bad. I'm you know, myself. Really. It's just, yeah. you have to accept these things, you know what I mean? I went back after four years last year, um, uh, just played an over-35s game with Mary's, uh, and I snapped the, 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 the Achilles tendon. Jesus. You know, Christ I was out for, uh, I was in the cast for six probably, weeks. Uh, but it's probably it's the like, worst uh, injury of the eyes, I think. Yeah, mm. it, pr- it, it probably yeah. was. I actually, I uh, often mentioned it there, I actually thought I was after being shot from on the side because uh, it was like a Stephen pop. Apple, I happened to say with Stephen Apple, but also when I was, yeah. he was green going after it. I, I really felt sorry for him yeah. to pay him, yeah. you know. And he took him a long time to get yeah. back. But Stephen was a great lad, and, and if anyone was going to get back, Stephen was going to get back, you mm. know what I mean? Because he, he was a great pro, and lovely mm. fella as well, like the for him. Mm. But you know, he belonged to he was just a great lad. Like, yeah. you know? So yeah. was Gaza the best player you played against? Yeah, I suppose, he, you know what I mean? Like, we played against... You know, I, like, it was never competitive. Uh, like, me, I, me here, Brian Robson, I played oh, against him as well. Yeah, and, yeah. It's United outside there, you know. And uh, obviously, Dennis Elvin, you know, the hero of mine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? But, like... What about the best player you played with? That, that was, you know, I know you have a few friends and it might be hard to pick one. It's, it, it, you know, I, I played with a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of great players. And I've mentioned, you know, you know, the lads I really looked up to, the like Dickie Carfield, you know, because they were great pros. Uh, Stephen Apio, Philip Blanc, you know, you know the, the old boys. Mick Conroy, as I spoke to you earlier, you know, yeah. I think the most knowledgeable man of football that I've ever come across. You know, uh, Paul Bannon, which I thought was outstanding. Uh, but, like, there was talk, obviously, Dave, because everyone, you know, I think yeah. Dave... Dave Barry. Yeah. Sally. Yeah. Dave Barry. Dave, he just, you know, obviously everyone knows that he won two out of the medals and he's won the, he the match in one of them. And, and he had, Dave had this thing that, uh, especially inside, you know, he was a big strong lad, you know, because of the GA he was able to, you know. So, like, when he was on the ball, we were mm. never getting off him. Do you know what I mean? But I'll say that, like, Dave could run. But he's a great brain as well, you know. Mm. But what he had was fierce confidence in himself, mm. something I never had when I was yeah. young, you know what I mean, yeah. in my 20s. I hadn't got that because of the whole yeah. self-esteem thing and whatever, you know. Yeah. So I probably didn't get that in my 30s. But Dave had that all the time, all the time. So he was always very positive, you know what I mean, and, and he was brilliant. And I'd have to say that uh, like Pat Morley was outstanding mm. because... Oh, Banny was always there. If he was chocolate, he, he'd eat himself. He, <laughs> Pat loved Septic. himself. Right? He, lo- he, lo- he loved himself. But he was a brilliant, brilliant player, you know. I think he's taught in the all time league of Ireland, you know what I mean? I think that Jason Bond, they passed him the other the great. Um, oh my God. 
Jay perhaps back in the the seventy. Bring them uh, Bradley, he'd be the top. Of bring them got a point of your father with no yeah. bring them or you got a point of goal. But Morley was brilliant. Yeah, he was the closest. Thing. Like like I I, I I made a I made a statement to two Dublin reporters up across a couple of years ago. Because we, we the year they won the league, the Dublin that year, but we wasn't doing well. We had money for a couple of years. We was trying to get over the line. But Charlie McGoy was after going to Preston, you know, mm. so we were struggling a bit. And uh, we were playing Dundalk the same night, two Dublin players walking in, two Dublin sports. I said, are we going to do it tonight? So I don't think we'll do it tonight. I said, but I think we'll get over the line eventually, all right, you know. See, what's, you know, what's the, what's the problem? You know, they are kind of struggling for the last couple of weeks. I, I very easily I said, Shani McGoy. See, what? See, Shani McGoy. See, what do you, I said, for the player he was there, I think I said I think he's the best player I've ever seen out there. I know I know he wasn't playing; he's only played a, a, a couple of years. Uh, yeah. You know, he was outstanding. Mm, he was. I mean, I've been out watching him training, and I asked Carfield about him I, because I wanted to know we could see his ability, but I wanted to know what sort of a lad he was as yeah. well. So he did Carfield, so well, kind of shiny. I said he's brilliant, he's a brilliant trainer. So I watched him. I watched him train. You know. He was, Brilliant trainer as well, yeah. but and you know, but see, see the difference. We were talking about a bit ago about the uh, part time and, and full time, yeah. and the, all the great players that came after us. Delighted, you know, won leagues and things like that. But they were all pro, mm. you know, the likes of George, John Flynn, Gamble, yeah. you know, Kyle Healy. Game. That you know yeah. that came back from had a great career when he came back. All these great players, like you know, and Carthage teams didn't like the Shaw and yeah. but like. I'd have no doubt that I'd probably, if, if Dave and Pat were full time, yeah, I think they'd still be the two best players. Mm. Mm. That makes sense. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. You know, I, 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 I'm not, mm. well, I'm not putting anyone sense. up because they're, they're all the players I mentioned, but, but, they, but they're on the professional area. Yeah. But I think if Dave and, and Pat were, were full time, I still don't think anyone would have, would have touched them. Yeah. You know, and I really believe mm. that. You know, because I, I obviously played with them, play, you know, I've seen them playing, seen the lads today. As I said, they're, they're brilliant play. You know, the league went inside the 2000, 2005, yeah. sorry. You know, the famous Derry game and yeah. then Carfield and, the, you know, the Carfield teams. And they were brilliant teams. You know, Garrod was on these teams. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? I, great players. Yeah. Brilliant players. But I'd still... Pick the lads if they were full time. I think your father probably would too. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're from all stock, you see. They're all so. stock. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I don't want to be happening back to my day, you know what I, I mean? Know. Because, uh, you know, you can't. Uh, uh, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's talent for love is coming along. Love is coming along, you yeah. know what I mean? But there's a better yeah. chance these days if fellas can make a full time yeah, but to not their talent and get don't. the best yeah. out of their abilities. Yeah. But I, I still think that if Dave and Pat were full time, that they would have been serious, serious players, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, I think one of the best things, um, one of the best credits to you is that when people talk about the greatest Cork City players, it's usually a toss-up between yourself and Dave Barry, and you're a bit of a cult hero in Cork City, and even the young fans that would never seen you play and know about you, they still sing your name in the in the, in the cross, it must yeah, make you James, very proud. Yeah, it's, I think, I, I t- First of all, no, they're wrong anyway for the start, you know what I mean? Because, because as I said, I, 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 I didn't really play until my 30s. Mm. So, like, like, I could only regard myself as being a proper player in them few years because I thought I was decent in, in the few years because I was fit. I was all right before that, but I was never really 100%. Mm. So, I... I Look, it's nice to be you. It your is. Own. It's nice for your own to, you know, and at the yeah. end of the day, that's what you're playing for. Exactly. But I, I don't take much, you know, I think I, I, that doesn't really It's still me. nice, though. Yeah. And if you're out watching Cox City... It's probably City, nice for me, family, and things like that. Yeah, you know, know what? As somebody I, I, from the yeah. area where you're from, I, I, we are always proud Patsy yeah. Frame was from our yeah, area, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, I understand that. Yeah. And I, I'd be the same. Like, I, I'm proud of you. For what you're doing here, you know what I mean, yeah. and that's the Thank reason you. why you've done it. And, you know, there's different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could be proud of a lot of things. You know yeah. what I mean? It doesn't have to be sports, like. Yeah. But uh, especially with Timmy, because it was never going to happen in sport. But. <laughs> 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 Make sure to throw that thing out. <laughs> I 
I tried anyway. I found your niche to me with well, the you know what, though, Pat? To me, listen, to me, to me, to me, I'm here, you're 100%. Do you know what, though? Listen, if, if we were both to look back at our own careers, I always wanted to be a soccer player, but yeah, yeah. Uh, alcohol and drugs came to my life at a young age, like your own. But if we didn't have them in our lives and we were able to manage the stuff that was going on for us back then, um, and we were able to play at the best of our abilities, yeah. I believe... Listen, it could have been a different situation, you know. You could have, and I could have been in doing doing something yeah, that we're I, really I, passionate I, I, about. Yeah. I, you know? I understand what you're saying to yeah. me, but you know, it, it never looks. Uh, mm. It's never good to look back. Mm. You know, I always look forward. Yeah. That's all you can yeah. do because you can't do anything about what's happened there, other than you know, put yourself right. Oh, yeah, hundred like, percent. You know yeah. what I mean? But listen, look forward. Listen, but. That would have been a possibility anyway. But. <laughs> I like to keep so <laughs> like. <laughs> Just hanging on to that. Plastic. Plastic. <laughs> but you know what? Listen, I wouldn't have the headspace I have today if I didn't go through all. Through all that, that I understand that too. Yeah. Where I am now, I have a grand bit of peace in yeah. my mind, and we and, and you and spoke about it. it's all about the head. Yeah, it's all about the head. It's about being happy in the head and yeah. being able to manage what's going on for you. You know, um, and that's that's the key to everything is yeah, sure. being happy. How you're feeling right now, right, this yeah. moment here, right? But look, if your head isn't right, nothing, yeah. nothing else. Exactly, nothing Patsy, else doesn't yeah. matter. Exactly, doesn't yeah. Matter. And that's why you enjoyed your football yeah. when. In my yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but like, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. We look forward. You know what b- I mean? Before we finish up there, um, you're still involved in the game in another capacity. Um, Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's, uh, I, 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 well, I only started last year, the, the school boys refereeing, and, and it's something I always wanted to do. School boys, because school boys as well as that, for me, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, like, that's where the talent is going to come from. So, like, it's something I always wanted to do, just to, just to look at players play. That's all it is. And uh, so I started last year, and uh, I only got about, a, I think, about four weeks or six weeks or something before the COVID, you know? But, like, it's brilliant. Mm. It, it, it's mm. really brilliant. And what's... what's Best of the whole lot, no matter who I am, you just an yeah. old bastard inside, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's great, like, yeah. you know, I'll tell you the story, I'm going to tell you where to go. We opened uh, Tremor, I don't know, it was under 50 or something like that. Tremor against, oh my God, I knew Bones was. I don't know, it was the middle to it. could be wrong now, you know? Yeah. But the game went down anyway, and Tremor would have been stronger than the, the middle to it. The, 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 there was this lad, he played off with a lively little boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> He, he got a, I think he got two or three goals in the first half, you know, he was Jack the lad, like, you know. So we came out there, uh, we came out at half time, you know, I was in the centre circle with the bar. He comes up anyway, you know, for the centre. He said, well done, kid, you know, We're doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for more, you know, he was confident, though. It was great, like, you know. He says, uh, did you play yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, I said, ask your dad, I said, you know. Yeah, we a bit of a baller, like he said. I <laughs> think <laughs> uh, I, I tell you now, it was brilliant. I yeah. tell you, I got a great kick out of it. The innocence. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was outstanding. It was, it was outsta- uh, it really, really, I, yeah. I really got a kick out of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I, I love it. I, yeah. I love the kids, you know what yeah. I mean? And I love their honesty. And, uh, you yeah. know, and obviously, yeah. I hear referees. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's the joke. I wouldn't because I gave him great grief all my life, you know what yeah. I mean? There's one referee, he loves this podcast, John Lenehan. John, yeah. You, see, you know John? Many, many the running I had with John, you know what I mean? I know, they, the referees have their job to do. Tough as well. job as well, I'd say. It's a very, very tough job, but I was always right on the, on the pitch, yeah. <laughs> so, Even when so you were on the Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, yeah. It's a look, at the end of the day, it's only a bit of passion, and it, you know, it comes out, so... And it sounds like you're getting real enjoyment from it as well, Patsy. I, I, lo- I tell you, no, I can't wait for it to open yeah, up again. Because I, 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 lo- I just love the kids, you know. Mm, that's great. And, uh, and it doesn't matter what level, because, I, 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 you know, the top level, I've seen a few players on the 12, you know, Corinthians and Douglas and local Delby. On, and I, was, I, was, I was just blown away with the talent, you know what yeah. I mean, at 12 years of it. And then at the other end, you know, the, the lads are probably not as good as them. Mm. 
put the honesty in everything, you know what I mean? Mm. It's just brilliant. Yeah. I, I love it, I really That's love fantastic. it, you know what I mean? Well, please God, we can get leave the school boys leagues open back up and we can yeah. get back to normal as soon as possible. So yeah, they need it anyway, the kids, I think, you know. Yeah, more than anybody else. Yeah. But look, it was an absolute pleasure talking to you. And you, James. Thanks a million for me. coming Thanks, on. Thanks, Patsy. No, it was a real honour for yeah, well, us. Yeah, well, you, you know, no. this is the last time I'm ever going to do yeah. anything. Uh, I just get carried away, so no. I'm not doing anything anymore. Yeah. But, but uh, it's, a, it's been a pleasure, I tell you, you know. Especially. But, you know, it's good for you to talk a little bit about your story in terms of football yeah. and everything else, uh, because there's a lot of people know you as being a good footballer, but they don't know the actual story yeah. to it. And it's great for people to really know how it actually happened for you, you know, and, yeah, yeah. and where yeah, you right. went. And, you know, so yeah. that's fantastic. And thanks for sharing it yeah. with us. And, no, I'm delighted. And yeah. as I said, you know, we were always proud growing up that Patsy Frame was up in... Not yeah. Mahaney, and we still are, and you know, for the young for the young people today, you know, we have Amy O'Connor, Cork GA, Denise O'Sullivan, mm. you know, just some serious talent. Yeah. Um, and we come oh, we'll always, we'll always produce talent. We did. Always and, and, always, we, and always. we always will. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, it's only not from it's the next thing, you know. Exactly. So, well, look, yeah. uh, you're doing your best with the refereeing. Yeah. Myself and Tim, you're doing our best with the podcast. <laughs> and that's all we can do. And look, thanks, thanks again. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Timmy. Thanks, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Rowan. And I'll see you all next week, lads. Take care. Bye-bye.